Come thrifting with me at the Salvation Army. Since this is more of a charity shop, I will be very selective in what I purchase. I'll make sure that I don't get kitchen items or anything else that might be taken from someone in need. But it's still important to shop here and provide them some support. Today they were having 50% off all Christmas items for Christmas in July. The prices were already insane and so I did definitely hit up the Christmas area and I got these two pillar candles for 50 cents a piece. There wasn't one single item I picked up that I thought was overpriced. I found a set of brass candlestick holders that were specifically Christmas. I was very excited about those. Only 79 cents a piece, so that's two for 80 cents. I see so many things in the thrift store from my childhood. This would be something that would have been in our kitchen growing up. Here is an ornament that had my birth year on it, so I, I had to get it. And it was only a quarter. I thought these two little plates were really cute. I think they were probably to hold candles, but I passed. I find this both creepy and intriguing and I also kind of like it in a really weird way. Does that make any sense? I appreciate the work that someone's gone to. <laughs> then how cool is this? Someone had made an entire dollhouse with all the furniture out of yarn and don't ask me to say what the plastic thing is that you use to make these items because I don't know. But this is the kind of stuff that I wish I could make. It's so neat. And how how crafty. I didn't dig through the ornaments too much. I did like this one. It looked vintage to me. It had a little metal topper on it. Super cute. Loved the green color. Um, I couldn't find any more that I really wanted. But they had some blue vintage ones. And so I decided to go ahead and grab four of those for my sister for her blue tree. They had about four bins of ornaments. Some were even brand new. Then I found these two brass ornaments. One was a swan and one was an angel. Very cute. Would go great on my main tree. So both of those were 25 cents. I did start to look through the linen and then reminded myself that that might be something that someone may need. So I'm going to leave that behind. Then I found this magazine rack. Yes, I do have a lot of luck finding magazine racks and I wish I could buy them all. I really liked this one. It was only $2.99, but I don't need it. I do need more birthday cards that are more masculine or at least more neutral. And so I found... I think five vintage ones. I don't even know the price. I think they were a quarter. This little cat looked kind of like a couple of trinkets I already have on my trinket shelf, so I grabbed it to join my group. I use frames for every season, and then I switch out the photo, and basically I'm getting lazy, and I'm wanting to just leave them in the frame and pack them away each holiday, so I am collecting gold frames right now. And that sounds terrible, but it's just easier to take it out of the tote and put it up and be done with it. They had so many cute baskets, and then as a container person, it was amazing I didn't leave with 20. This one would be so cute if you cut the handle off and used it for a plant. Wasn't deep enough for what I need, though. I debated this one for our dog toys. As you know, I have been looking for one for our animals' toys that isn't too tall so they could reach in and grab easily. I like the size of the basket, the coloring, everything. It was just a little crooked. It was kind of warped a little bit, and... I know it's so cheap. I actually grabbed it, was going to get it, and then ended up putting it back last minute. Just couldn't make up my mind. And as you guys know, at the flea market, I found a brass snuffer, but this one was only 50 cents, and I really liked the design on the end, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I really would like to have one that has a loop so I could hang it, but this one's really cute. I found another gold frame, so that makes three on the day and such good prices. All of them were under a dollar. I really like this wonky chicken basket. It'd be cute with the plant in it, but I decided to pass. If my husband wasn't waiting in the car for me, I would have gone through these one by one. It were only a dollar. Maybe another time. I love both sets of these glasses and the price. Oh my goodness, 29 cents. You guys are going to be mad, but I went ahead and passed because I just don't need any more glasses. This copper tin would be so cute hanging on a kitchen wall. I do have a couple already though, so I passed. And if there's one thing I collect way too much that I don't need, it would be ribbon for my gift stations at Christmas time. I, this green and the gold, I just couldn't pass it up. I just couldn't pass it up. It didn't have a price on it, but I knew it couldn't be very much. And uh, I'm going to hate myself at Christmas when I get it all out. They had such great wedding dresses here. So many old vintage ones. And I think they're just so beautiful. I'm thinking I'm going to have trouble finding a two drawer cassette holder. Seems like they're all three. I really like this in a tacky way. It would have been really cute on like a tacky Christmas sweater, but I decided to pass. But this guy, however, I went ahead and got, he is a pin. I'm going to make him a magnet and put him up in fall. He's so cute. 
If someone wanted to lean into chickens, the thrift store is the place to go. I thought this mannequin was a person more times than I'd like to admit. Even after sh looking at it and knowing it was a mannequin, I still kept catching it out of the corner of my eye thinking it was someone standing there. Of course, this miniature cup then caught my eye. A little bit big for my trinket shelf, so I passed. I already have a lot of brass, but for 29 cents, I just could not pass up these two brass cups. They matched. I love the hearts. Definitely going to use them at Valentine's. I passed in the chicken, but the turkey, I can have him up at Thanksgiving, maybe put some rolls in there. Who knows? Maybe utensils. So many uses for him. Waiting to check out, they had these little grab bags for kids. They had boys and girls for 49 cents a piece. And so I went ahead and got my kids some. I know that they're probably not going to love them, especially my older daughter, who's a little bit aged past this, but it will be fun to open. And then I will donate all of the items that they don't want to the school for treasure boxes. 10, 13 all together. Great day.